Hello everyone, how's it going? Hope you're having a wonderful night. So, after a lot of rumors, it's been confirmed by Sony that The Last of Us Part 2 is getting a remastered for the PlayStation 5. This has been rumored for a while. And it seems that the enhancements for the PS5 version actually seem pretty cool, unlike the PS5 version of The Last of Us Part 1, which was just a technical upgrade, where they removed the multiplayer and they sold it for $70. Here, it actually seems, I don't think it's worth $70, at most I would still think that this game would be should be sold at $60, but Sony is not going to do that. And if you plan to get this version, I recommend that you go and get the PS4 version from your local game store, eBay, Amazon. They're probably available for pretty cheap. I saw it for actually like 10 bucks when I went to pick up Mario RPG Remake today. So maybe you'll be able to pick it up as soon as you can if you plan to get this and get the free upgrade for like 10... Well, not a free upgrade, the $10 upgrade so you'll save a bunch of money. But that's up to you. Oh, it says digital only. So uh, you won't get the physical version. You'll only get the digital version, which kind of makes sense. Either way, uh, so what does this version come with? It comes with graphical enhancements, which is a bit confusing because The Last of Us Part 2 was a gorgeous game. Even the people who didn't like the game, like, venomously, I just thought the story was garbage. I think everything else about the game was fine. Visually, it's hard to argue that the game wasn't beautiful. It was exceptionally gorgeous, especially the bloaters and the infected. Oh my god. They did it so well. If they were to do a survival horror game on The Last of Us part, uh, Last of Us, with all the models they enhanced, it would be brilliant. Give that to Capcom and say, hey, make a survival horror game. The Lost Levels, they actually gave us previews of The Lost Levels. One of them featured Ellie exploring Jackson during the festival when her and Dina kissed. The other one they showed was Ellie going to what appears to be the lounge where Ellie and Joel were in that flashback where Ellie first was doubting Joel's in uh, what she he did during the Firefly section of The Last of Us Part 1. New outfits, they showed two outfits. The astronaut outfit, which is based off the astronaut uh, outfit that we find in... Uh, Ellie's flashback with Joel. We don't get the full outfit in that flashback, but here they're giving a tribute to that because she wanted to be an astronaut if the world didn't fall apart. The other one is Abby. I've already seen this all in the trailers you can see here. I won't play it because I'm certain I'll get copyright claimed or striked or something. I just don't want to risk it. But they show that Abby actually has her outfit from when she gets captured by the rattlesnakes with her head shaved, malnourished, which I think is cool. Uh, guitar free mode. They showed that Joel actually has a guitar free mode, so that would actually be pretty cool. I don't know if that's part of the Lost Levels or just a separate section where you just take control of Joel's character model. The other one is exclusive roguelike survival mode. So they showed that you can control various characters in this survival mode. They showed Abby's sidekick. I forgot his name. Oh god, it's running a blank on me, but I played the game so much you would expect me to remember his name, but I don't. Sorry. They showed him. They showed Dina. Which I think is great. They actually, they have to have Joel as a playable character. If they don't, I feel like that, that would be criminal. Now, I haven't seen any information of whether this is coming to the PlayStation 4. To me, it should, but obviously Sony is pretty greedy about this stuff. So, likely it's not going to come to the PS4. If it is, correct me if I'm wrong, but as of now, I haven't seen anything. A lot of people are actually arguing that this should come to the PS4. And I agree. There's literally no reason why it shouldn't come to the PlayStation 4, but... I doubt Sony's going to give this to the PlayStation 4 community because they want you to upgrade to the PlayStation 5. They want you to buy this full retail version and everything. Even if it's just a $10 upgrade, that's $10 more than they would get. You know, even if they offered this on the PlayStation 4 for like, um, say, 5 bucks, I would say that's more than enough. I, I doubt they're going to do that. Regardless, tell me what you think in the comments below about this. I'm likely going to buy it for the sake of reviews, walkthroughs, and all of that. But it does seem like a substantial package compared to the Part 1 edition, which was just such a bloated mess in terms of price point. But here, it seems reasonable. But for $70, that's a harder sell because if you already played The Last of Us Part 2, I don't know if the lost levels and all this content will be enough for you to rebuy the entire game. Uh, you know, if you lost your copy or sold it or something like that where you have to rebuy it and then, you know, if you already have the copy like I do, $10 doesn't seem like a lot of money to just get all this stuff. But if you traded your copy in or you destroyed it like that Asian guy did in his stream, uh, it's going to be a harder sell. Regardless, tell me what you think in the comments below about all this. Um, if you plan to get it, if you plan not to get it, uh, like, dislike, your choice. I like to hear other people's opinions on this matter. And that's it from me. Goodbye.